hey guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in to another video so in this video we're going to go over my cvs deals for january 24th through the 30th now just to give you guys a quick update regarding crts on my main card, I did begin to receive some CRTs and it seemed like others have as well. I got anywhere between like six to eight CRTs. So I, at this point, something is better than nothing at all. But the deals that I'm gonna be doing today will actually be on my husband's card, whose, um, wh whose card was not affected by not receiving any CRTs at all. He actually received some really good ones. So I will share that with you um, through the rest of the video in terms of what deals I ended up picking up but before we get started with that if you're new to the channel welcome thanks for tuning in to, an, to one of my videos if you will be so kind and hit that subscribe button I would really appreciate it so you can join my coupon family and if you're a returning viewer thank you for coming back and checking out my video one more time now let's go ahead and get started all right you guys so the first thing that I picked up in my first transaction is on the Colgate max fresh or max clean toothpaste this is on promotion buy two get a five dollar extra buck on sale for 349 you can do the deal twice so i ended up picking up four of the colgate max fresh toothpaste at 349 that's a total of 13 dollars 96 i used two of the one off of two colgate coupons a five off of two colgate crt that printed for everyone last week as well as a three off of 12 colgate crt that brought my total down to three dollars and 96 cents getting back ten dollars in extra bucks making the final cost free and a six dollar and four cent money maker next i did the neutrogena cosmetics deal which is on a buy three get ten dollars in extra bucks so i picked up one of the neutrogena makeup removal wipes at seven dollars and 29 cents and please make sure that you are actually picking them up from the cosmetics section and they are the 21 count wipes then i picked up two of the neutrogena Neutrogena foundation sticks, the um, the Hydro Boost foundation sticks, and those are $17.99 each. So my total came to $43.27. I used a $4 Neutrogena face digital coupon, as well as two $4 Neutrogena face um, printable coupons from coupons.com. Also had a CBS Neutrogena um, BOGO buy one get one free on the Hydro Boost foundation sticks um, which took off $17.99 so I bought my total down to $13.28 getting back the $10 in extra buck I'll also get $3 in beauty bucks just for this particular deal as I've spent over $30 in beauty then I'm also going to now submit my receipt to activaterewards.com um, there is a promotion going on and I did this about two weeks ago when you spend um, I believe it's up to $15 you get a $5 gift card if you spend $25 or more you get a $10 gift card so I should be getting that $10 gift card back which will make the final cost free and a $9.72 money maker next I picked up the paparazzi nail polish which is on a buy two get four dollars an extra bucks on sale two for five so I picked up two at five dollars I had a one dollar paparazzi cosmetics CRT that I had to send to my card in addition I also had a one dollar paparazzi bath accessories CRT that did that did glitch and attach to the nail polish put my cost down to three dollars getting back the four dollars an extra bucks making the final cost free and a one dollar money maker next i picked up the cerave products now these are on promotion buy one get one 40 percent off so i picked up the cerave moisturizing cream the eight ounce at twelve dollars and 99 cents and then i picked up the cerave healing ointment in the twin pack which the original cost is 7.99 but 40 percent of that is four dollars and 79 cents so I bought my total to seventeen dollars and 78 cents i used a three dollar any cerave coupon as well as a three dollar cerave healing ointment coupon i also had two five dollar cerave facial crts which attached to the moisturizing cream and then i also had a four dollar cerave hand i think it's called a hand and face lotion crt which attached to the healing ointment so if all of those digitals apply i actually would end up paying nothing and it is likely that um 
one of the CRTs would get adjusted down as technically if you add all of that up, um, I would be like $2 in the negative. Now I tried to find another product that was just slightly higher so I could get the full value of all of the CRTs, but I would have ended up having to pay something and I didn't want to. So I decided to just leave it as is. And the last thing that I picked up in this transaction was the Beauty 360 Limit and Charcoal Towelettes. These are $3.19. I had that $3 CVS Healthcare um, or Health Skin Care CRT, which makes the cost just $0.19. Cents. So here's a snapshot of everything that I picked up in my first transaction. If all of my digitals, coupons, and CRTs applied, I would have been paying $20.43. Rolling in $20 and extra bucks, only paying the $0.43 cents out of pocket, and then getting back $24 and extra bucks. Now, let me go ahead and show you the receipt and um, let you know what ended up happening with this transaction. All right, you guys. So, here's the receipt for the first transaction. We have all of the Colgate toothpaste, the CeraVe, the paparazzi, the Neutrogena foundation sticks, and then the charcoal wipes. So I forgot to include the Neutrogena wipes in this transaction. So my total was off just a little bit and I couldn't understand why until the receipt printed. But here are all of the coupons that I use. Um, and actually this is the other reason why my total was off too. And I, I, I know about this, but I did not include it and I completely forgot. Because I used a coupon on that Neutrogena product, it only took off 17, it only took off 13.99, not um, 17.99. So that's a $4 difference uh, in itself. But even still, um, there's the five off of Sue Colgate CRT, $5 survey. Look at that, that $5 survey lowered itself to 310. The $4 survey lowered itself to 179. The $3 skincare lowered itself to $2.59. That in itself makes up the difference for how much I actually paid right here. Then you have the 3 off of 12 Colgate, the two $1 paparazzis. And then two weeks ago, I told you guys I would receive an $18 extra buck on this card. And I, oh, $18 beauty buck. And that's exactly what I used in addition to another $2 beauty buck. So I paid the $3.44 out of pocket. Um, had I had all of these that I got the full value for the CeraVe, both CeraVe, CRTs and the CVS skincare, this total would have been about 44 cents, which is basically what I was expecting it to be. Um, ended up saving 96% at $78 and 25 cents. And then... I got back four for the paparazzi. I got back 10 for the Colgate. And then that was it. And of course, at that point, I realized, I was like, wait a minute, where's my Neutrogena? And as you can see on here, it shows that I only, um, I had only purchased two. That's when I realized that I did not include my makeup wipes. So let me show you the receipt for the makeup wipes. So here's the receipt for the makeup removal wipes. The cashier was doing something, so I just went to self-checkout and did this. But um, they were, like I said, $7.29. The $4 digital came off. I just rolled in a $3 uh, beauty buck that I had. So I just paid the $0.29 cents and obviously saved $7 at 96%. And then my $10... Um, my ten dollar ECB printed out in addition to a couple other CRTs. Now, the good thing is this will not. Even though I messed up on this transaction, I, I'm still able to submit that first receipt to the Activate Rewards website because just the two foundation sticks by itself um, is like thirty six, almost thirty six dollars. So I do qualify for spending at least twenty five to get that ten dollar um, virtual gift card. Now let's go on to my second transaction. All right, so for the beginning of transaction number two, I did the household deal to spend 30, get the $10 gift card. So I picked up three of the Gang Flings as well as three of the Tide Pods. All of them are $4.94 each. 
That brought my total to $29.64. That does put me within the 98% rule of $30. I used three up to $3 Tide Pods coupons, three up to $3 Gain Flings coupons. Then I had a four off of 30 Tide Gain Downy CRT. That brought my cost down to $7.64, getting back that $10 in extra bucks, making the final cost free and a $2.34 money maker. Now, I did have some good CRTs for the Dove, and that's really what I wanted to pick up and then pair in these laundry products, but I have not gotten my inserts yet. I started to just go buy a paper, um, but I, it just you know papers are expensive in my area they're 350 a pop and they don't sell them at the dollar tree um, i have several dollar trees around me um, and they just don't sell them there so it's kind of worthless for me to go out and do that just to do this deal um but what i may do is when i do get my inserts still go back and get the dove even though i've already completed the spend 30 get 10 um just because like I said, the CRTs that I have were really good on this card. Next, I picked up the U by Kotex, which is on a buy two, get two dollars an extra bucks, and I buy one, get one half off. So I picked up two of these liners. I had never seen these before. Um, there were other ladies in there shopping, and they basically wiped out the other liners that I was going to pick up. But nonetheless, um, I did find some, and these were um, $1.89, half off would be 94 cents. For a total of $2.83, getting back the $2 in extra bucks, making the final cost $0.83 cents or about $0.41 cents each. Next, I picked up these Snuggle products. Now, they're on sale. Buy one, get one free. So, um, I went to CVS first thing early this morning. The plan was to then go to Walgreens later. But in case I didn't make it, I still wanted to go ahead and pick this up because I wanted to get the Ibotta rebate in hopes that maybe if I don't go to Walgreens on the same day, if in fact the rebate resets, I can pick up the Snuggle products at Walgreens. So that was kind of my method behind doing this. But I picked up a liquid um, fabric softener at $6.29 and then I picked up the dryer sheets that were $5.99, which will end up being my free item. So I paid $6.29. But then I'm going to submit my receipt to Ibotta, get a dollar fifty back for the liquid, get a dollar fifty back for the dry sheets, and because I am redeeming two separate rebates, I'll get a dollar bonus back for the snuggle, which makes the final cost two dollars and twenty nine cents or a dollar and fourteen cents each. Now the other way that I had screwed this up, well not necessarily screwed up, but we do have snuggle coupons that actually expire today. And so my intention was to actually go ahead and use one of those um, coupons. And of course, I forgot. So still not a bad price, $1.14 by itself. Yeah, I'll take it. Next, I picked up the uh, Venus razors. So the Gillette and Venus razors are on promotion by two. Get an $8 extra buck. So I picked up the Smooth at $9.99 and then the other one at $12.49. That's a total of $22.48. I used two of the $3 Venus Razor CRTs. I had a five off of 20 shave T CRT, as well as a $3 um, Gillette Venus Shave CRT. That brought the cost down to $8.48, getting back the $8 extra bucks, making the final cost free, oh, excuse me, making the final cost 48 cents or 24 cents each. So the last thing that I picked up in this transaction was the Eucerin, which is on a spend 20, get $10 of extra bucks. And I swear we've had this same deal at least for probably for the last month, if not longer. But I'm not complaining. So I picked up the Eucerin Skin Calming Lotion at $9.99. And then I picked up the Daily Hydration with um, SPF at um, it's $10.99. So the total is $20.98. I printed off two of the $3.50 Eucerin IPs from the Eucerin website, as well as I had a CVS 4 off of 20 lotion CRT. So it brought the total down to $9.98, getting back the $10 of extra bucks, making the final cost free and a two penny money maker. Now here's a snapshot of everything that I picked up in transaction number two. So of all of my 
coupons and CRTs and everything apply, my total comes to $35.22. Now, if you have been following me on my CVS um, hauls, if you notice that every week that we've had the gift card promotion, I have not actually been using those gift cards. I've still had enough extra bucks where I'm just rolling extra bucks from week to week. So I had um, $20 worth of gift cards on this card that I had not used as of yet. So I rolled that in, in addition to $15 in extra bucks, paid 22 cents out of pocket, getting back $20 in extra bucks and another $10 gift card. So let me guys, let me show you guys the receipt. All right, so here is the second receipt. So we have the Game Flings, the Tide Pods, the Snuggle products. You see it's buy one, get one free. The u by Kotex, the one Eucerin, the one Gillette, the other Eucerin, and the other Gillette. All of my coupons scanned perfectly fine. Now, I did not have, I did not redeem those two $10 um wellness cards and what the manager did was she went in the system and overrode it and just made them extra bucks for me so instead of me so instead of her giving me the gift card for me to turn around and use it she just made it turn it into an extra buck which i was perfectly fine with all of my crts came off there's the 15 dollars of extra bucks that i rolled in so i paid the 22 cents for 45 after taxes um ended up saving 100 percent at 102 dollars and 74 cents and then in turn i did receive my ten dollar wellness card which i'll probably redeem next week um i got my ten dollars for the userin i got two dollars for what was that for two dollars for um i don't know hold on let me go back and look for the Kotex, okay. $2 for the Kotex, and then $8 for the Venus. And then I have more um, CRTs print on my receipt. So yeah, so that ended up working out perfectly fine. Now let's go on to my very last transaction. All right, so for the start of transaction three, I wanted to do the Irish Spring deal, which is on a buy two, get $3 extra bucks on sale for $3.99. So picking up the two, the total comes to $7.98. I used two of the $1 Irish Spring soft soap coupons, bringing the cost to $5.98, getting back the $3 in extra bucks, making the final cost $2.98 or $1.99 each. So the next deal that I picked up was on the Pampers deal. This is on a buy three, get $10 in extra bucks and they're on sale for $9.99. So I picked up two of the Pampers Easy Ups at $9.99 and then I picked up the Nijamas. Now I've never picked this up before. Um, kind of wanted to give it a shot and then I was also trying to find ways to lower my out of pocket because we no longer have any coupons for the, um, no longer we don't no longer have any paper coupons, I should say, for the Pampers. The ones in the PNG have long expired. So, um, but the Ninjamas were $9.99 also. So the total was $29.97. I used the three off of two Pampers Easy Up Digital. I used the $3 Ninjamas Digital. Then I had a five off of 30 Baby CRT. So it makes the cost $18.97, getting back the $10 the extra bucks, making the final cost $8.97 or $2.99 each. And $2.99 for a bag of pull-ups is not a bad price at all. Now, if you are looking to do this deal, um, you probably could get a better, you would most likely get a better deal if you decide to pick up like the Pepper Swatlers or the Cruisers because there are a lot of rebates for those items. But for me, since my daughter is in pull-ups now, I don't necessarily buy diapers unless I actually have to. So basically just do what works best for you. Either way, some savings is definitely better than no savings at all. Okay guys, so because I had so many money makers early on in my transactions, I wanted to pick up some paper products. And there's a paper deal, spend 20, get 5,000, I will say 5,000 points. <laughs> uh, spend 20, get a $5 extra buck. Now, um, I was under the impression that the Just the Basics paper towels were included, but in fact, it is the Just the Basics um, toilet paper as well as the Scott paper towels. So I, I did set out to pick up the two Just the Basic paper towels as well as the Scott um, 
paper towels. So this is how I thought everything was going to go. The Just the Basics paper towels was $7.49 a piece. And then the Scott paper towels was $6.99. That's a total of $21.97. I had a CRT for 3 off of 10 Just the Basics paper towels. And then I also had a CRT for Just the Basics um, paper towels. But you get buy one, get one half off so thinking it would take half off of the 349 i would get three dollars and oh sorry thinking i would get half off of 749 it would take off 347 so i would end up paying 1523 getting back five dollars and extra bucks um, which would make the final cost 1023 or 341 each and i was actually okay with that well when i show you my receipt you'll see that that is not how it worked out um, and I'm going to show you in the next slide what you should actually get if you want to do this. So despite picking up the Just the Basics paper towels and the Scott paper towels, this is what the deal should have looked like. Picking up three of the Scott paper towels at $6.99, that's a total of $20.97. We have no coupons. I did not have any coupons on the Scott brand website. So you would just pay the $20.97, get back $5 in extra bucks, making the final cost $15.97 or $5.32 each. No, it is not the greatest deal at all. But um, as you all know, most of us couponers, we are in stock up mode, particularly with paper products in case something ever happens again. And for me, I have lots of toilet paper, but my paper towel stash dwindles a lot faster than my toilet paper. So, um, yeah, considering I had so many money makers in the between the first two transactions, I didn't feel quite as bad picking up these three items. So it was something that was needed. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it. Now, let me show you guys the receipt. I'll show you what how it all went down by picking up the wrong items. I ended up doing a refund, then purchased the correct items and then we'll talk final numbers between all three transactions all right so here's the receipt for transaction number three the sky paper towels the ninjamas um the pampers the irish spring and then the just the basics paper towels irish spring coupon came off fine the ninjamas and the pampers digital came off fine my five off for three baby care my three off of ten for the just the basics i did roll in my care pass also rolled in, um, what is that? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, what, $14 in extra bucks. Um, and then my buy one, get one half off for just the basics only took off a dollar and 36 cents. So I'm missing $2.83. That's why I have that written there on the side. So my total was eighteen fifty six. Now, again, like I stated, I had not been rolling gift cards. So I had a $20 gift card from um, like four weeks ago <laughs> that I finally redeemed last week. And I had been chipping away on it just a little bit. So I had planned to roll in that card, which I did. So you see the fourteen ninety seven on the money card. Um, I had included that in my numbers. So I had calculated if everything worked out fine, I would have been paying like 30 some cents or 20 some cents. But in fact, the difference is 76 cents. So if I had gotten that full half off value here, my total would have been 76 cents after you calculate the money card as well. But all I actually ended up paying was 579 out of pocket. Um, I saved 77% at $6.00. $60.86 and I did not realize that that Ninjamas is a um, healthcare item so that was interesting and then I ended up getting back the $10 for the Pampers and the Ninjamas and then I got back $3 for the Irish Spring. Here's where I got puzzled. I'm like well where's my $5 for the Pampers? You know nothing. So when I look back up here it showed that only the Scott was tracking and that's when I realized when I double checked in the ad that the toilet paper was included, not the paper towels. So I talked to the manager. We did go ahead and do a refund. So we did a refund without um, without a uh, receipt. So I got the full value back, which she put on a money card. And then we rung up two more of the Scott paper towels. 
I used the money card to pay for that. Um, and then I ended up getting my $5 extra buck. Okay. And then I got more CRTs. So let's go ahead and talk final numbers. All right, you guys. So here is the final breakdown. Everything would have cost me $77.61. Okay, that's between all four transactions. Of course, you know, I do include the extra bucks that I use in a subtotal, so on and so forth. Okay, I earned back $57 in extra bucks plus a $10 gift card from the household deal. Okay, um, I spent $90.22 in beauty, so I should be earning back a $9 beauty buck within 48 hours. I also should be earning back $4 from my bada. For the um, the snuggle, my receipt is still pending, so I'm not able to show you that. And then, of course, uh, my receipt is pending for earning the $10 back for the Neutrogena deal. That usually takes um, anywhere between two to three days, but I did go ahead and submit for that as well. So after everything that I earned back, it makes the final cost free and a $12.39 moneymaker. So you guys, I am absolutely in love with everything that I picked up today. This was an amazing haul. Um, I, you know, I was able to get the the uh, pull-ups for my daughter, paper towels for my household, got some more beauty and personal care items. Um, so yes, just everything that I needed or wanted, I was able to get. So if you like these deals and want to duplicate them, please feel free to do so. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.